friends, I am Miranda and I just got back from the grocery store. So I wanna show you backpacking meals that you can get at almost any grocery store. This is my show, gosh darn. I realized that I've talked a lot in other videos about like dehydrating meals for backpacking. I've taste tested backpacking meals. I've like talked about easy, no prep meals. But what I haven't done is a like last minute grocery store run video. Obviously I think that getting instant meals or like boil in a bag meals from REI is great. And like those are really delicious and they've been, you know, formulated to have the right like macros in a lot of cases. But I think for a, a lot of us that can be like one kind of cost prohibitive to eat ready-made backpacker meals for every single meal, but also like it's just not super convenient sometimes if you, you know, realize you don't have enough food or if you need to like go grab something really quickly. For most of us, a grocery store is a lot more convenient than going to your local REI. If you like have a favorite backpacker meal, not saying that this should replace that, but I do think it's a good idea to know what works best for you for backpacking. So I'm gonna show you what works best for me. Before I dive in to this, just a couple caveats. First of all, I wanted to get stuff that you can find at nearly all grocery stores. So obviously, depending on where you live, depending on where you're shopping, your food haul might look really different than this. Also, I eat a vegan diet or a plant-based diet. So you'll see that there isn't any, there aren't any animal products in my food. Uh, I also focus on stuff that has a long shelf life that like doesn't need to be refrigerated. And then all of my meals here require no cooking. They're literally just boil water, pour water into a bowl because that's how I backpack. I hate cooking on the trail. So all of this stuff is instant. Great. There's lots of cars and, and dogs and yappy things because we are here at a trailhead. So this is how you know we're not faking. Although actually we could be faking. We could be not at a trailhead. Let me just show them our green screen technology. Yeah, green screen. Look at this. Look at this green screen. Uh, I'm not real. I'm on a green screen. I am a green screen. <laughs> So let me show you what I got at the grocery store. Let's talk about breakfast. So I'm actually not gonna mention oatmeal. Oatmeal is like a really obvious one. I did something a little bit different this time and I got instant potatoes. The reason that I got instant hash browns instead of mashed potatoes is that all of the mashed potatoes at my grocery store have milk or dairy in them. So I had to go with these things. Obviously if you eat dairy, like you could just go with mashed potatoes and might be a little bit more practical but this is what I have here. So what I'm gonna add into this uh, are these instant soup mixes. This is perhaps my best hack for backpacking. So here I have a instant corn soup, instant sweet basil pesto, instant vegan gravy, and a vegetarian chili seasoning mix. One of these will be good for like two to three meals at least. The only thing to be aware of is the sodium count on these. So some of them are gonna be really, really high in sodium, but very helpful, easy way to get like a little bit of extra fun in your food. So then with these, I have two boxes of these potatoes. I'd probably just dump these into like a stasher bag, take them out of this annoying box and then pack all these seasonings. Uh, any like salt and pepper packets that you have, those are awesome. I think that um, getting like hot sauce from your grocery store or if you like stop for fast food, asking, saying yes to hot sauce packets for like one time. What did you just say? Say yes to hot dog packets for hot one dog, time? Hot dog, hot sauce. You go to like very popular, fast food taco joint and they're like do you want hot sauce and you're always like absolutely not because if you say yes they're gonna give you like a billion packets of hot sauce uh, i'm recommending you say yes so you have a bunch of hot sauce to take with you backpacking so i'm just saying in general as a backpacker i would recommend one time saying yes to the hot sauce packets when you go to taco so that you have hot sauce so potatoes some kind of seasoning and then adding in any dried vegetables so in my case i'm adding in sun-dried tomatoes. Boom, that's breakfast. Okay, so for lunch, I am making wraps. They're the best for lunch for backpacking. You can put anything in a tortilla and it tastes good. For lunch, what I will be having is a big tortilla with some almond butter. And now hear me out on this pickle fried cucumbers. So if you're from the South, I'm assuming that you know about pickle peanut butter sandwiches. Very, very good. You got some salty, you got some crunchy, delicious. These are just pickle flavored fried cucumbers that were available in my grocery store. And what I'm gonna do is put these on my tortilla with some peanut butter for lunch. So I'll probably eat two of these. So two packets of almond butter or peanut butter, two tortillas, and then adding in some crispy dilly things. Like whatever you're gonna put in a tortilla or whatever you wanna use your tortillas for, for backpacking, they're just a really great backpacking 
food because they are flat already so you don't have to worry about them getting flattened in your bag they are great like to add calories to any meal so you could even like add your potato hash in the morning into a tortilla and make like a breakfast burrito so they're just like very easy very practical highly recommend tortillas for like any backpacking trip so <laughs> hold please <laughs> Now we're gonna talk about dinner. Dinner is one of those things that's probably easiest to buy at a grocery store when you're backpacking. I tend to go with couscous. You literally just boil water and you pour it into your couscous and then you have food. These are actually seasoned boxes of couscous. Like this one's a roasted garlic and this one is toasted pine nut. Honestly, my recommendation would be to not buy seasoned couscous. These are super, super high in sodium. And if you're already carrying something like sweet basil pesto soup mix to add into your breakfast, then just add some of this into your couscous. Why is it so hard to say couscous? What am I talking about again? Right, couscous, right. Hold on, I got this, right, okay, dinner. So for dinner, I have couscous, and then I'm gonna add in, again, some of my soup mix or my seasoning mix, and then some sun-dried tomatoes or any other dried vegetables that I have with me. So I know these might not look like the most exciting meals, but this is super easy. And that's what this video is all about, is ease. So here's what I bring for snacking. At my grocery store, I got these bars, which are essentially just dates and nuts. And that's it, they are high calorie, they're super dense, they're sweet. And that's one thing that I tend to want when I'm backpacking is stuff that's sweet. I know like you probably shouldn't just like eat a little sugar all the time in your day-to-day -day life, just like you don't want to eat a ton of sodium. But when we're backpacking, obviously there's like a little bit of forgiveness, plus we do need to replenish our sodium intake, plus sugar helps keep us, like give us energy. Sticking on the uh, sugar train, um, I also would recommend having some kind of like gummy to chew on. Gummies like this are great because they give you something to do, to like chew on them, they give you a little bit of a sugar boost, plus they're small and they're light. I also have these roasted and salted nuts. I found these to be the most calorically dense and the lightest option for nuts, soy nuts. So I got those. And then the last thing that I have here are these, or is this a resealable bag of cookies. These are just like a coconut and date cookie. The recommendation here is to get a resealable bag and something that is dense and high calorie. And with backpacking in general, that's what you want. Dense, high calorie foods, lightweight filling. Boom. And then last but not least, this was not in my original bag, but I really like carrots. Carrots are a really great food to take backpacking because they last a really long time. They're really delicious. They are great. They're orange. I like them. And you can buy them at almost any grocery store. And they're cheap. Hey, carrots. Then I also have sugar snap peas. Oh, sorry. No, not sugar snap peas. Snow peas. But really having some kind of like fresh vegetable to add into your daily food intake is going to help you just like enjoy your food better and it's also gonna help you poop. Even though I said this video was all focused on things that have a long shelf life and don't need to be refrigerated, I lied. Eat your veggies. Eat your spinach, Papa. So all of this food is from the grocery store. These are my grocery store backpacking meals. As you can tell, there is a ton of packaging involved here. So I did actually do a whole video where I uh, did like a zero waste backpacking trip. There are obviously some benefits to preparing ahead of time and not just like going to your grocery store when you're on your way out to the trail. But just the reality is that like, I think you should get outside however you can. And if what you have access to in your grocery store is stuff like this, then just, you know, remember to recycle your packaging, buy stuff in bulk if you have the ability to do that. Keep all those things in mind, depending on where you live. This might be even more than you have access to in your grocery store, so use this as just a template for figuring out what's best for you on your backpacking trips. What I do is I start with a base food and then I season it and then I add in a little something. That's really the hack. Pick your base and then season it and eat that and then go hike. So I did weigh all of this food and then compare that to the weight of like store-bought backpacking meals. 
and the weight does come out to be about twice as heavy with the stuff that I bought at the grocery store. But the other thing with this is that like all the food that I got, which is enough for three days of backpacking plus some extra cost me about 50 bucks. Obviously all of this is just about like what's most comfortable for you, what's most feasible for you, and what's gonna help you get out on the trail and have a good time. Whew, okay, that was a lot of information. I hope this video has been helpful. And if it hasn't, I'm sorry. You can't win them all, right? As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the RAI channel, and I will see you all in the wild. Bye. Is this all really zoomed in? This yeah. is what happens when our videographers don't come with us. It feels super zoomed in. Is it? I don't know. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs>